Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Amy. I'm the Community Engagement Library here, librarian here. Um, before we start, we like to, we're trying something new. We like to do a land acknowledgement just to, because we're really big on the history of the city and acknowledging those who came before us. So this event takes place at Cochico within Indakina, now called Dover, New Hampshire, which is the unceded traditional ancestral homeland of the Abenaki, Penacook, and Wabanaki people, past and present. We acknowledge and honor with gratitude the land, waterways, living beings, and the Al Nobak, the people of Stewarded in Dakina for many millennia. Um, so, just to give everyone a heads up while we're starting, we are streaming this live, so there are people watching from home, and we're also recording this as well. So, just be aware. Um, you guys sitting here today, no one can see you. Um, it's all directed in this direction. So, but if you do ask a question at some point, it will be recorded. Um, for those of you online, um, we can't see you, we can't hear you. If you have any questions, if you have any technical difficulties, um, I will be at my computer, I will be checking the chat. So just feel free to pop in stuff there. Um, so, just to, to give people a few more minutes to show up, I like to do a little rundown of some upcoming events we have at the library, which we have a lot during June. Um, so I'm just going to do the next week. So, so on Monday, June 6th at 6.30, we have um, our local horror author, Gregory Bastinelli, is going to be speaking. Um, he just released a book that got a uh, star review from Booklist. And he's going to talk about that book and also kind of the process of publishing. Um, on Thursday, June 9th at 6.30, we have a program called Gender 101 for Pride Month. Um, and that's going to be an introduction to gender inclusive language. And the speaker will talk about their experience as a non-binary transgender person in our community. Both of those events are going to be hybrid, so if you want to see it in person, you can see in person. If you prefer to stay home and watch online, then you're welcome to do that as well. Um, and then Saturday, June 11th, um, from 10 to 12, is Worldwide Knit in Public Day. So we're going to have a little knitting circle out on the front lawn, so if you like to knit or crochet or even just craft, you're welcome to join in. Um, and yeah, those are just the for next week. So if you want to know about more of the other events that we have, you can check our calendar online or I have right over there at that table. There's a bunch of our cal that's a calendar. Yep. Hold that up. Yeah, <laughs> there's a calendar that has our upcoming events and on the back has a little more detail about our um, more featured events. Um, also, you will notice that in your chair, I have a little survey, if you wouldn't mind at the end of the event, just filling it out, letting us know um, what you thought of this event and what events you'd like to see um, coming up at the library that helps us a ton. Um, if you're online, that will pop up at the end of the presentation. Once um, you exit, it will pop up as a new page. And if you could fill that out as well, that would be wonderful. Um, and I am just about out of things to say, so I'm going to introduce our speakers here. So today we have with us Akeem and Andrew. They're our program associate interns um, for 2022 at the Little Indonesia Culture Center, which is run by Indonesian Community Connect, or ICC. ICC just recently celebrated their fifth anniversary, and they are working to build, connect, and educate about the Indonesian community. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, I will be presenting about the Little Indonesian Indonesian Community Connect. So I'm Andrew Malaya. I come from Indonesia. I do my master degree at Arizona State University, and I um, I'm here to get my internship in the ICC, so this is my first presentation, so I got nervous, but I will do my best. Um, this is the uh, motto of a little Indonesian that imagine. With imagine, we can uh, uh, create something like a new idea or something like a, a great idea that what we have to do for the next uh, Indonesian, like uh, many countries in the world, has like a 1,700 uh, islands as the biggest country in the world for the islands. And uh, we uh, also have like uh, 
900 different languages. So we have multi race, multi ethnic, and multi religions, and uh, also with Indonesian Community Connect, we have like a uh, many um, relationship to be learned that can bridge Indonesian and United States. This is the logo of uh, Indonesian countries, uh, the Garuda Pancasila or the birth of the Garuda. Uh, from the symbol, we can see there is a uh, five elements uh, and behind of the uh, eagle legs, there is a uh, one uh, written message like a Bineka Tunggal Ika from Sanskrit languages. That means that unity in diversity. So this is the representative of all of the Indonesian. Uh, what is the purpose of Indonesian Community Connect or ICC? ICC is a non-profit uh, organization based in New Hampshire, United States, with the focus to connect the Indonesian community with um, our surrounding area through educational, economic, and festive affairs that promotes the riches of the Indonesian culture, heritage, and ICC serve as the hub of resources for all of our stakeholders, which involve the people in our immediate community, the local government, and our fellow collaborators in Indonesia in order to facilitate mutual understanding among different cultures and values. Our vision is uh, becoming the bridge that connect the Indonesian culture with the communities in the surrounding area. And our mission is, is establishing access to information resources, facilitating mutual understanding among different cultures and value, and promoting the riches of the Indonesian culture's diversity. And do I have a question, is this statewide, all of New Hampshire, or is it more southeastern New Hampshire where we are? Uh, for the scope, yeah. The vision and mission. So we have like a little Indonesia in Somerset. The target is for New Hampshire for now, especially in Somerset. Um, but throughout the time, it's going to be like more like general, maybe in the US. Um, that's what I was wondering. So yeah. for us, it's, it's primarily from Somerset and yeah. moving out from there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, as the official hope of Indonesian hope of Indonesian organization in the United States, ICC was um, acknowledged by the city of Somerset and its uh, mayor, New Hampshire State Senator, House of Representative Congressman, and the U.S. Senator for the New Hampshire. And uh, ICC has been given like a proclamation and commendations award for uh, for for from uh, the Congress too, and. Uh, also, the proclamation from and the commendation is a public proof of the trust and professionalism and contribution that ICC has always carried through. Uh, ICC also has grown in the three official years from Somerset, New Hampshire, to Chicago, Illinois, Dover, and New Hampshire, Boston, Massachusetts, Greenland, New Hampshire, New York, Rochester, New Hampshire, in the US, and in Indonesia, like Papua, Timika, Kupang, Nusa Tenggara Timur, Sorong. West Papua, Jayapura. Uh, this is the structures of the committee. We can see from the top, the, the Rada Rachels, Miss Rada Rachel as the president, and for the president advisor, there's a Zulfilian, and for the ICC advisor, there is a, a Ronald Politon. And you can see from the board of directors, executive member, and the members. Okay, this is the New Hampshire population data. New Hampshire has a population of 1.36 million and Somerset, the future location of the world's first little Indonesian, uh, known to be the one of the most Indonesian population in the northern of New England with a total of 5% uh, of Indonesian population in the three city area, including Dover and Rochester. Somerset alone has a 17% 17 of the population. Um, the 
a long relationship between Indonesian and U.S. partnership that build a foundation of shared democratic values and the common interests. The education sharing expertise and the innovating to create a break a break their future. Is it also it, it is a celebration of the people of the two countries, the story and dream that reflect the deep and the breadth of the partnership between our nation. And it is about a looking forward to imagine all of all that we can accomplish together as the two diverse democracies, creating a prosperous future for the coming generation of Indonesian and American. So for uh, Little Indonesia project for work, the first of its kind in the world, the Little Indonesia project is a long-term vision uh, of ICC to connect the Indonesian community with New Hampshire and beyond through the expression, art, culture, and economic opportunity via vibrant and revitalized revitalized business district located in downtown Summersworth, New Hampshire. So the vision, like uh, I said before, to build the community is that we often ask ourselves that we, we could we do to inspire and bring a greater impact to the community. Little Indonesia should be a vision world to represent the people and benefit the community in the present and the future generation. So we look forward to a positive deliberation and a profile of establishment of Little Indonesia by making clear plan and timeline as we reiterate the commitment of Indonesian ambassador, then is now the vice minister of the Indonesian Foreign Affairs and the commitment to working closely with team the world's realization of joining this uh, partnership. This is the project element from the gate, uh, the commercial district revival, the culture center, and the tourism element. So for the next, we uh, have been developing the new building of the ICC of Indonesian Community Connect. And there has been like uh, maybe three or five years ahead to make it real from, for this project, but uh, we also uh, do more progress every year. This is uh, our designer for art architect. Uh, the first one is a uh, design director, Albert Byrne. Albert uh, holds a degree in design and environmental analysis from Cornell University and is a frequent guest critic and adjunct a lecturer at his alma mater, among other colleges in the New England region, such as Suff Suffolk University and Boston Architectural College. And the second one is, uh, is Alicia Koshasi, Interior Architectural Designer. Uh, Alicia holds a Bachelor Degree in Operation Management from Boston University and Master Interior Architecture from Suffolk University and um, has been a visiting critic at her alma mater of a both schools. Next, Indonesia is a diverse plus a multifaceted country. As I told you before, that we have like 70,000 islands in the world and we have like 900 different languages. So we have a five, six, for now is a six different religion from Muslim, Christian, uh, Catholic, uh, Hindu, Buddha, and Konghucu. Konghucu is uh, the new one that uh, can be included to the official religion in Indonesia. Because we are rich, so we have like uh, more diversity than others country in the world. Uh, we have like a unique culture from history, and we have a different uh, area of uh, uh, art, like uh, in West West Java or in in the West Indonesian. We can see uh, there are so many different languages also in the central Java, in the central Indonesia, and in the western of Indonesia. Little Indonesia is a reflection of this quality. Yeah, as I said before, because Indonesian has a multicultural ethnic, is it 
is it a very difficult to unite them with a one language? So uh, my own language is different with her own language, her own language. So uh, we use Indonesian as a one language so uh, we can communicate each other. But if we do our own language, so we, we couldn't understand what her, uh, she said something and what I uh, have to say something. So this is the program of uh, the ICC. We can build the diversity from each region in Indonesia. So as you see that there is a difference uh, development, develop economic growth between the west part of Indonesia and east part of Indonesia. So how we do compare this one is like a, we don't have uh, we do not. Uh, we cannot find uh, something like uh, the equality between the West Coast and the East Coast. So with the ICC, our Indonesian Community Connect, we can uh, unite them to be as a one organization that bridge the inequality between the West of Indonesia and in the uh, Eastern part of Indonesia. This is uh, the multicultural or uh, diverse ethnic. So we can see be, this is the new plan of the ICC. In the picture, you can see there is a gate and there is like a colorful road that we can pass through before we go to the building. So in the each part of the road, we can see there is a multicultural ethnic, ethnic from different uh, area in Indonesia. Also, we have like a, a children playground in the new building. This is what we have to do in the future because as a need, uh, children uh, can do their uh, playing with their friends or they can uh, spend their time with their uh, same uh, age. Located at the heart of uh, Somerset, New Hampshire, the Indonesia uh, has a complex that uh, serves community hub for the city and community, community and beyond. So the phase two is the Indonesian Cultural Center. So this is like the design the ICC project wants to build. It's like a little Indonesian site in New Hampshire, uh, in Somerset, New Hampshire. There are welcome gate in number one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, right there. And then there will be a park signal or information, more like a direction of the park. And then this phase two is focusing on the potential cultural center location and little Indonesia business or store phones. There will be also statue area, little, little Indonesia island garden and stage area, and urban park and plaza. These these are going to be included in Little Indonesia. There will be museum, event space, black classroom, dance studio, retail, and cooking classroom. These are more on um, this more detail of the design that we are planning to build in the next three or five years in Summersworth. There will be food court or cafe, uh, the ICC headquarters, Museum of Indonesia, retail block, plaza, classroom, and multi purpose space cooking classes and food pantry. Um, also the little Indonesia Cultural Center. This is the other picture of it. And it's, um, there will be the retail arcade too to sell different clothing from Jefferson Indonesia like Bati. There are like 34 regions in Indonesia, I mean 34 provinces, and they have like a lot of different of Bati 
and other stuff that can be sold in retail arcade. This is the, the more details of the design. There will be the restaurant or cafe, consumer goods retail, um, pop-up space, outdoor seating, and or performance space for like events or festivals of South Indonesia. This is the other picture of the Indonesia Cultural Center, Royal Indonesia. And this is the little Indonesia complex. So at the yes. Before we go, yeah. Then. Before we go on to the next slide, the, this is the more details of the little Indonesian museum. There will be like history of the Indonesia that can be pop up in the, the wall right there. And then more of the history of other province or regions in Indonesia. Or like Bati and other stuff for the museum. This, this is the more detailed um, design for the inside of the museum. Um, there will be also cultural enrichment classroom, like cooking classroom for people who want to do um, cooking classes for Indonesian food. And there will be the language immersion, the language classes. There will be also like dancing studio or dancing um, classes, lesson. This one is like Saman from Aceh, and the other one is from uh, West Java. West Java. But there will be all um, plenty of um, dancing classes for Indonesian communities as well. And there will be also um, a retail block like gift shop and food and beverage. In food and beverage, there will be, um, for example, they have like coffee, uh, luwak white coffee, like straight from Indonesia or Sumatra coffee, or for the gift shop, we have, um, for the gift shop, for example, we have like batik right there. Oh yeah, this one. This is the batik from Indonesia. This is for the, the women, yeah. This one for a man. Oh, this one for the women. So that I want to interrupt again that raises another question. What you're talking about is, is in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is there now that you know leads to this? That there are shops and stores, mm -hmm. are there restaurants and other places in Summersworth where we so, can go? Oh yeah, sorry. So we have like a, a little store right now in Summersworth. But we have the market that sells this stuff. But we all we only have like one or restaurant event. It's usually on a, on Saturday. But throughout the year, if we want to make it like um more like daily stuff or general, general, yeah. So is your restaurant event in a retail store? Or? It, yeah. yeah, it's like one building. One building, like, so like you can go small. in. Yeah, this small shop. Yeah, small shop small and shop. the for the restaurant. It's only like once a, a week. Once a week? Yeah, yeah, which is on Saturday only. But the store is open from Monday, I mean, Tuesday to Saturday. To, this, to Saturday. Is that downtown Summersworth? Yeah, it is downtown yeah. Summersworth. It's near the um, traffic light. Okay. Yeah, before the... the before the... the T. Yeah. Yes, the intersection. The intersection. It's like one um, It's on the right. Yeah. Yeah. This is an example for the food market. There will be some food, like, um, it's going to be like a lot of like Indonesian food, Indonesian snacks, Indonesian coffee, and like um, seasoning or like spices and stuff. As I can, as I mentioned before, the gift shop, um, we'll be selling like the batik, statue, handcraft, um, kitchen, traditional instrument music, like Ankung right there, and then more like Indonesian jewelry and Indonesian stuff yeah. from different uh, provinces and regions. So the little Indonesia gift shop is a promotional opportunity for people who want to sponsor or donors or um, 
people who want to do business. There will be a digital display wall, number one, right there. And then there will, there will be also central product display, number two. It's a flexible display available for featured products by sponsor or donors that want to do a um, sponsorship with um, in the Little Indonesia. There will be also a shelf display. It's a flexible display available for Indonesian UMTN products or um, small um, and um, medium enterprise. Medium enterprise from small to medium enterprises enterprise. products that want to be in the shelf display. This is a um, little Indonesia event space that can be used for like events, um, festival, formal or informal events that want, want wants to use a um, little Indonesia um, space. Yeah. Um, and this is like the design for the ICC Inc. new head headquarters. This is an example of what it will look like in three or five more years. And it's um, this is a community food pantry. It's filled with um, food that can be distributed to like local communities, like um, what is that? Uh, charity. Oh uh, yeah. Donation. It, it can be used for like charity for community, yeah. um, local surrounding. For local. Yeah. yeah. And the phase three is the design elements, the gate, the gate and the bar. As you can see, there's um, two approaches for the gate, it, which is batik moral getaway and traditional house photo. Um, the welcome gate is going to be in the front of the, the park and the stage will be like up uh, behind. behind yeah. And then this is the, um, so the, the Batik Mura getaway during festival will be like different, depends on the, the design that wants to be used, but Batik, so Indonesia has 34 province which means that they have a 34 design for batik, depends on which area, and it can be used um, festival, which design one can be used. And this is more example of the, the details of the batik moral getaway for the gate in the little Indonesia park, that uh, project. is the artist mural wall can adapt and reflect various regions of Indonesia, a perfect Instagrammable moment for literally Visitors to Little Indonesia. And the vertical one is a vertical lantern act as a beacon of light for the community. And this is the details of the Batik Mural Getaway. And um, the traditional house portal during festival. Um, and we have to get study. Yeah. Yeah, itu rumah untuk apa? Rumah so, adat. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the gate studies is um, as I mentioned before, the they have like thirty four oh. province. So different province or region they have like their traditional houses. Like for example, the the last one, one yeah. is the Kalimantan. Ah, uh, oh, West Sumatra. Oh, I mean West Sumatra traditional West Sumatra, house. Traditional house. And is, the middle one is, is uh, Kalimantan. Is Kalimantan. Uh, traditional houses. So in Indo Little Indonesia project, traditional house portal, portal will be used during festival, for example, like the up one is the, uh, the, the uh, Sulawesi. Sulawesi one. It's going to be different every festival, depends on the design. And this is the details of the traditional house, house portal. portal. Uh, so the traditional house portal um, design is taking cues from diverse forms of Indonesian traditional houses. Like I mentioned before, it's the following, the following option is a contemporary take of preserving the country's rich um, architectural pedagogy as a grand welcoming gesture, gesture to Little Indonesia. This is more details of the traditional house portal. And then we're going to phase four of the Little Indonesia project, which is the design opportunities of urban green park elements. Oh, urban green park is. It is more. Uh, it is uh, more focused focused on the park signing or information, touchy area with the Indonesia island garden and stage area, and the last one is urban park and plaza. 
this is this are a few example of the Sydney map and information for the park, um, like the central map right there, uh, secondary maps, educational and historical Sydney. That will be in the the park. And this is the the example. This information informational Sydney can highlight a different island and can be uh, and be an educational element that celebrates the unique. Um, culture, history, facts, um, people, and geography of the island, of the Indonesia island. The Sydney structure can reflect some of the unique aspects for each island, whether a pattern, textures, and many more. In this case, a Baltic pattern is cut out of the metal structure. So that green rectangle is where it will be <clears throat> on the map? What was that? You, you have your land. Um, so that one is an example of the one of the island in Indonesia. Which is a, a Papua. Papua. But in summers we're. Oh, oh yeah, for one. this one, yeah, in yeah. this one is summer. Yeah. Where's that in relation to the Indonesian center now? Um, like the project? How far away from the center, the center you now use is the Indonesian? Oh, so they're still like um, they're still not sure for the exact um place yet, but they're still like under the few that. It's in the green summer, but they're not, they're not sure yet. Well, that's just a suggestion. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And this is just an example of the Indonesia photo of me. Um, these are the lights, post flags, or banners, example patterns, like um, example patterns of batik. These are like a few example um, batik design from Indonesia. This one is from Kalimantan, Sulawesi, Sumatra, Java, Bali, and that one is where I'm from, which is Maluku. And that one, the last one is from Indonesia, design from batik of Papua. So the custom printed post flags or banners can represent the richness and diversity within Indonesia and celebrate the islands and regions. They bring vibrancy to the street and can educate passers by on the patterns and taxes of Indonesia. They can provide an opportunity for sponsorship and showcase facial events for the city throughout the year. No, batik this is just an example for like batik sidewalk graphic for the little Indonesia part of the project. And another example for far benches when green space and design objects for the, the Indonesia Park project. And this, uh, this slide is about the Park Sydney sponsorship opportunity that can be used for, um, from sponsor or donors that want to be used on um, the Park Sydney, for example, like poster, banner, or uh, flyers. Flyers. Yeah. And that's it. Terima kasih, Inis. Thank you in Indonesia. Earlier you said something about three to five years. What do you hope to have accomplished in three to five years? Not all of that, did it? All of that? I yeah. mean, for general idea, yeah, all of yeah. that, but all I'm not that. pretty sure. Yeah. But we don't have the land yet. We're still looking for it, but uh, we don't have it for, yeah. as in for now. Yeah. yeah. How are you raising the money for it? Um, from donation. From donors, they also have like um. Apa kah yang cari uang ni? Uh, uh. What is it called? Uh, I forgot uh, the word. Apa sih? Yeah, untuk. Mencari uang dari donasi donasi itu, uh, menjual makanan apa? Ah, uh, bazar, sumbangan, bazar. Yeah, uh, we also like do the bazar every month, every, every Saturday, Saturday, like the food. The food restaurant, food restaurant and cafe. You raise money from the and cafe. Are there any mm -hmm. other? Do you have concerts or dance events happening this summer? I Maybe think. Next month or two? Yeah, before before the before the pandemic we have, but mm -hmm. uh, maybe for uh, after the pandemic this year we will take uh, to the concert, to the uh, account again about. Uh, dance outdoor because yeah, but yeah usually in like 
and fun Saturday. Yeah. And we have our like restaurant event. We usually have like dance. Live music. Dance and live music too. Live music and dance. Yeah. Okay. Is that mm -hmm. every Saturday? Yeah, yeah. For now. Yeah. For now, every Saturday for the summer. And usually we do it in, in indoor, but since like it's nice out there, we have like outdoor for now. How do you let people know what's going on? So we have been promoting it on Facebook, Instagram. We also have the website. Yeah, it's um, it's ICC Indonesia. Yeah. Yeah. ICC community. Um, okay. ICC community. Let me double check. Yeah. ICC Indonesia. Yeah, I think yeah. it's ICC Indonesia. Can we access from here? Indonesian Connect. Indonesian Connect. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's ICC Indonesian Community Connect, and we also have it on Instagram. We we usually more active on Instagram and Facebook, but we also have the website. Uh, we have the um, ICC no, to wait, check. It's in, it's in, this one. For now, we have um, we have our event in the Little Indonesia in Summersworth that we have right now. So we have the website for the um, www.indonesianconnect.org. Or if you guys have like any more any any other question later, we you also can. have the email, email right there. Feel free to email us anytime. It's info at indonesianconnect.org. So this will, uh, if. If this gets going and is open, will it replace the information center that you currently have now? Um, you can. I'm not sure, but I figure yes. But I can double check and get back to you if you want. I can take your email and. Yeah. Can you demonstrate the instrument that you have? Yeah, we can, and we can. Yeah. You can try it too if you want. <laughs> From what I learned, it's usually like. Queen come first. This one is from Sumatra uh, um, province in Indonesia. It's like. Yeah. Every, every uh, ankle, there, there has their uh, difference uh, a pitch, like maybe this for the D or this for the G. Like uh, we have to control it, but uh, uh. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, like this. One, two, three, go. Yeah, but uh, we need more, like that. Yeah. Yeah. This is one. Yeah, this is one of the. Uh, this many, the yeah, well, yeah, many uh, music instrument from Indonesia, because it's uh, area or region they have their own. So the people of Indonesia who are in Summersburg, they come from all provinces, or well, no, I'm not all, mm -hmm. but, but majority. The majority are uh, from. Not the majority of the Indonesian population in New Hampshire, most of them are from from where I'm from, Maluku, and there's some from like North. Manado, Manado, North, 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 North Indonesia, and then uh, Java. And from Java, which is the central of Indonesia. Central, yeah. Yeah. You said you were going to have a language center. Is that for Indonesians to speak English or for English people to learn Indonesian? I think it's more for for English to in, English to learn yeah. Indonesia, but I'm pretty sure they will have like Indone um, in, Indonesian sure, people yeah. that want to learn English so too. Yeah, for uh, uh, bilingual book. Yeah, we also, we also have, have like have... bilingual book that will be, for an example, for the language immersed. Yeah. How many languages do you have? So it's one hundred. Uh, it's more, yeah, it's uh, around uh, 800 to 900. Yeah, we, as individuals, um, what do you do? 
I oh. speak Ambonese. Speak Ambon? He speaks um, uh, Papuanese. Papua. But in Indonesia, there's like Bahasa Indonesia. Bahasa Indonesia. Which is like um, the general language of Indonesia. Yeah. But every like tri- every like province, they they have their own language. But the Bahasa Indonesia is like the general language, like for example, like English words that connects people. Yes. Yeah. For yeah. for Papua, a lot uh, for Papua itself, like uh, in Papua, uh, they have like uh, six hundred different language, and for the rest, three hundred is just for the West in the Indonesian, for the Eastern Indonesia, just only six hundred different language. It's like a difference, like a somersault from Dover. They, uh, yeah, they, uh, like they have tradition like language, tradition language. But they, they know like Bahasa Indonesia as the main general language main general of Indonesia language. that connects them together sometimes. <laughs> oh, this one, this one, the what do you call it? The traditional uh, hat, traditional from, hat Papua, from Papua, which from a region. Where, where it's, from? Yeah, it's from a bark of tree. It's and, from bark of tree. Yeah, and this one from the uh, uh, feather of the kaswari, the biggest, uh, the biggest living bird in the earth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they put it like this. Uh huh. And if we wear this, it means like. Uh, we have to greetings like the president or the new uh, governor or the mayor or something like uh, the minister or the the government people. So it's like we have uh, we propose our honor to them and we do like dance to uh, yeah tra- tra- traditional dance. So we, we can go to, yeah to welcome them. One size fits all. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. it's one size. <laughs> one size, yeah. But uh, we have uh, another like advantages from uh, the birth of um, the mummification birth of uh, uh, Chandrawasi is like a paradise bird of of this one from this. But uh, it cannot be allowed to bring here to United States because it will be detained at the immigration. Yeah. Because I have, uh, because I have it in Indonesian, then uh, they cannot allow me to bring to United States. Because of the material it's made from. Yeah, the material is from a bird, the mummificated bird. Yeah. One and this is from Bali, the traditional Bali from Hinduism. That that can use like this, and they can use the rice here yeah. to uh, pray, like this to the god, and when they do pray, they have to uh, be they like, to, like bow, and, bow and yeah, and pray. pray like that. It's like a traditional thing. It's for a traditional, people. yeah. But it's just only the example for two, uh, for, um, two region because we have uh, many more in in uh, our place. If you like, if you would like to see more, we, to see more, we still have like a lot yeah. in um, the little Indonesia. Little Indonesia. Indonesia. Summer, 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 summer. From Yogyakarta, from Sulawesi, from Toraja, we also have a coffee for a coffee, coffee? seat of coffee from Papua, and also we have a lot of different things. Yeah. Thank you for bringing them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. How much, so how much space ideally do you need? Uh, uh, it's not been like uh, described it in this uh, presentation. Yeah, but yeah, what I will discuss to my president ICC first because um, she is out, she is in New York now. So um, I even uh, see the master plan of the blueprint, but yeah, I will tell you later if I come back here. Yeah. 
Yeah, sorry, sorry. We're not very sure yet. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, the motif. Queen dulu. Queen saja ajar batik yang dengan batik apa blossom itu bunga-bunga yang sedang berkembang. Ini menggambarkan tentang apa? Kecantikan dan keindahan wanita. So, for example, this batik is from Java. It's from Java. It's from Java. It's from Java. In Java, there are more design of the flowers, which means like uh, representing the beauty of the, the flowers. And the women? Mm -hmm. And the women? And the women. Yeah, the women. That more represents the flowers and the beauty and the women. And this is for the man? The uh, yeah, the representative of. Papa, kipas? Yeah. So is that from the design of the character? Yeah, they. So they do with like um, this is a this is for the a printed batik. But if uh, we do traditionally, it costs a lot because it it's about a three million rupiah or like a uh, hundred and fifty dollars like that. Because they do with a hand handcraft. Like they have to put the ink into the pipe. Then they have to do carefully. And they have to like. Um, make a uh, line on follow the uh, design of the structures because th this one is like a printed batik so it's not uh, so expensive yeah because uh, the the hand printed uh, we don't bring it because uh, if there is someone wants to order it then we can yeah Yeah, it's not a hand on because it's quite the difference. Because if we see that or we we can um, differ between the printed batik and the hand uh, written batik. I have. Uh, yeah. Import. But in, yeah, the, so the number two, number two, of, um, the, the wax, wax batting. Wax batting, yeah, from Yogyakarta. So they hand painted it, like um, for example, like that. Cara mencucinya juga beda. Ah, mencucinya tuh tidak boleh direndam lama. Oh ya. Uh, it can be two or three months. Yeah. Batik. Sama itu hiasan kepala, hiasan batik, batik Papua, batik. Ah, itu. That one, yeah, number three, yang ada laki-lakinya tuh, satu dua, oh bukan, ya yeah, itu, nomor yang ada laki-laki, ya yeah, yeah, itu, ya ya, batik Papua. This is from my hometown. Yeah, this is a Papuan batik. Yeah. That's how they um, hand painted batik. 
I'm gonna pass for it. This is like the the some type of thing that they're using of how to make the it's 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 called plastic toys. For the design. I know, is there a new that before? Yeah. So um when I was in elementary school, they tried to bring us a, like a museum and we have to like practice it. It's just like a um, a trip. But it's pretty um general to like study on. Yeah. That's just an example. Yeah. <laughs> Yang tadi, ya, yeah. yeah. Um, that's about all. If you have any questions, thank you guys so much for being here. Oh my God, okay. I'm looking forward to the